All right. Well, it is now official. The Social Democrats will enter uh, this next German government with Chancellor Merkel. And we're just listening to Michaela. They're uh, looking at the numbers, uh, Simon and Job. There were around uh, 368,000 votes that were valid from party members. Um, around 239,000 voted yes. It was around 123,000 who voted against. What are your reactions from those numbers? And also what we saw, this complete lack of reaction, of applause, of any sort of reaction. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I suppose people just kind of, they many of them have been up all night, of course, involved in this counting process. So maybe, A little tired this morning. Maybe there's some <laughs> uh, fatigue there. Uh, but yeah, as has been said, you know, this is a, a uh, an unexpectedly clear vote uh, in favour, and that'll be a huge relief to Andrea Nahles, the designated party leader, uh, and the other senior members of the SPD uh, and to others looking on. Uh, as Michaela was saying, you know, there's, this has not been a vote uh, in favour of the SPD leadership. Mm -hmm. It's purely been about the question, is it smarter to join Angela Merkel in government, uh, you know, with all the compromises that that inevitably will mean and all the uh, lost opportunities to attack uh, Angela Merkel and her conservatives that that will inevitably mean uh, uh, or would it have been better somehow to go into opposition where you can obviously be freer in what you would say mm. uh, and uh, possibly the process of uh, renewing the party's ideological base would have worked better uh, but of course uh, at, at around 16 percent uh, popular support for that party at the moment they would uh, risk, you know, falling ever further into irrelevance. So uh, that's the clear choice they've made. They've clearly jumped back from the idea that opposition uh, is somehow a good thing. Yo, let's get your take. Is this good for the Social Democrats and good for Germany? Well, I, I think the, the, the fact that the people are not that relieved is that, uh, the, is that the, the SPD members are not relieved, is that they see a lot of new problems coming at them again. As uh, Simon already said, this is going to be very difficult yes. to profile themselves. <coughs> uh, it's going to be very difficult to, uh, to have credible leadership in the, in the near future. I think the relief at the CDU headquarters is much bigger. They probably applauded there very loudly, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, um, and I was also wondering uh, about uh, Martin Schultz saying this is great for all renewal process uh, this is uh, the Olaf start Schultz, the acting uh, party uh, so, yeah, yes Olaf yeah. Schultz, yeah. Uh, and this is the the start of the new unity I didn't see this new unity uh, in the in the in the results necessarily uh, yeah. for me the results show that the SPD have a lot of work ahead of them um, like they did in the last coalition all their main political points they they used it up in the first year and and, and then in the last three years uh, they were actually un in a, uh, invisible uh, at that time so What's, yeah, they've, they, the party leadership will feel huge pressure, and they will they will start like very uh, uh, eager to uh, to profile themselves. And uh, usually, for social democrats, not only in Germany but also in other European countries, uh, it tends to go wrong.